Hey, I'm Guy. I'm John. It's our YouTube channel. Subscribe to it and give this video a like. Also subscribe to this little thing we have together called a podcast below in the description. Hey, and how about this? We're sponsored by Tito's Handmade Vodka. Yes, we are. Tito's, go make yourself a cocktail this weekend when you're watching some football. All right, John. Uh, Kyle Shanahan asked if he's picked a quarterback. He said, I have a pretty good idea. Yeah. <laughs> Jimmy Garoppolo asked about it, and he said, yeah, I have a pretty good idea. And then he had a big smile on his face, and which you're seeing here. And uh, he also said he's pretty happy about it where he's at so any any chance yet in your mind for Trey Lance to be the week one starter against the Detroit Lions I feel like I, I'm flip-flopping a lot on this issue but you know we get more and more information out these guys keep getting asked the question it's hard to really feel confident about your your, your take you know because one day something happens and you're like oh maybe Jimmy is a starter when he smiles and say yeah I feel pretty good but then you just think well he's been getting all the first team reps like he's the first quarterback to come out in practice, in the games, I get in his mind. Then, the, to me, the curveball that no one knows except those guys, It's we're recording this on August 25th. There is zero chance that they haven't spent minimum 10 hours as a coaching staff with the quarterbacks, and probably the skill guys too, going over, I don't know, game plan stuff with the Lions, right? Based on whoever Dan Campbell... Uh, hired as his defensive coordinator looking at what he's you know his resume probably watching game tape of some of their players well who do you think's being told like those Jimmy Garoppolo's in those meetings and you know there are clearly plays that you would implement into a game plan for Jimmy and not Trey and vice versa I guess you could probably put everything in there for Trey and Jimmy but you could put stuff in there for Trey that you wouldn't put for Jimmy so maybe he has a decent idea but it, 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 you have to agree. I mean, it could I, – I, it's still not inconceivable that he just names Trey Lance the starter. And then there's the bigger elephant in the room with, you know, the money situation with Jimmy and the, the contract. And ha it would be complicated, right, if you did – I guess, would you consider a demotion if they named Trey Lance the starter? Would that be a demotion? For Jimmy Garoppolo? <laughs> yeah. Yes, because – not just because he's been the starter before, but because he got – basically all of the first team reps going into the opener preseason opener was the first team quarterback Trey Lance played with the second team well he was then, named the starter going into camp named right? the starter first team reps right because Kyle said I've known for some time now so that tells me it's Jimmy Garoppolo based on all the first team reps that Jimmy Garoppolo has gotten now we talked about this several times over the last few days we just did a video part of the podcast on Tuesday that was does Kyle know what he's gonna do uh, because he left the door open now, what he's going to do and what we think he could do or should do aren't necessarily always the same things when we have this conversation. But anyway, Jimmy gets all, most of the first-team reps in camp. Jimmy is the first-team starter in the first game. Jimmy gets all the first-team reps until Friday, the Charger week. Then he starts the game. Then Trey Lance, after a few first-team reps on Friday, gets a few first-team reps offensively. Then he plays with people that aren't first-teamers. And now we're into the third week of this thing. So, I mean... You know, Kyle could be trying to throw everybody off the scent. I don't think he's – he has interest in doing that with his words. He's not going to operate in terms of how he manages his team in practice to confuse people. Yeah, I, when Kyle said that, my mind went to – I think – I assumed it was he was talking about Trey Lance because of what he saw in camp. Like, he's like, God, it enlightened him to think this guy has got a chance to be the starter week one a couple weeks ago. And I found this interview he did with Rich Eisen where he said – a competition would organically happen. I wouldn't go Pete Carroll style and just be like, it's open, the two best for the job. And, and I think we, when you and I have been, at, went to the training camp practices, it's kind of how it felt, even though, because there were, one guy came in after the other specifically, right? Trey was coming with the twos. But the way they worked with the skill guys, he doesn't just throw to the second and third string guys. He throws to George Kittle. He throws to Brandon Ayuk. Use check will be in there. Like he gets to the rep with the skill guys, and I had hammered home that I do not think is normal, right? If you just went to Seattle's practice, Geno Smith, I don't even know whoever is not throwing to DK Metcalf and Tyler Lockett, right? I if we went to practice, unless they need to get an extra rep to like get their wind or something, I would imagine DK is not catching balls from the backup. Would you agree there? Cooper Cup with non Matt Stafford, right? You're yeah. repping. That's what makes the Niner situation 
at least for me, it was eye opening. And then obviously Trey's talent. You're like, God, this guy's got a lot of ability. But then five, 10, 20 minutes later, whenever Jimmy followed Kyle, he seemed pretty confident with his smile. Right. So it's, yeah. it's hard to think that it, it didn't feel like fake bravado or confidence. It felt like he thinks he's a starter and without specifically being told, what if he's just being told in these meetings when they're talking about the Lions, right? That, to me, would confirm it if I'm Jimmy Garoppolo. In any job situation, if your boss doesn't have to open to come up and tell you something specifically, if he talks to you indirectly about what's going to happen in a couple weeks, right? You just be like, yeah, I'm going to run point on this. Well, right? and when you've been operating, like Jimmy's been around enough football teams to know the guy that takes most of the first team reps is the starter, Right. Like, even if it's not overtly said to you, it's like, so one of them's taking a lot of the first team reps and one of them isn't? The guy that well, here, started here, the first two preseason games? Here here would be an example. The media in training camp gets to go to the practices. Do you know what they don't go to are walkthroughs? And you, you usually in walkthroughs at this point in time now probably are running some plays or against some looks just walking through in sandals. And I think they have mandatory sandals now. That's what CBA, so you can't run. Open-toed shoes? Uh, <laughs> open to- John. You could get open a busted toe. Shoes. Well, who do you think's running the walkthroughs, right? So if Jimmy's running the walkthroughs against Lions looks, how would he not confidently think that? Now, I still believe there is a possible curveball. It's it wouldn't be the first, right, in NFL history to have, you know, it happens a lot historically in training camps where it's like, whoa, didn't see that one coming, right? And obviously, it happens in the season. Once famously with Harbaugh and Kaepernick and an injury, right? A guy that loses his job. So you, there are in the season ones, you, sometimes you can see coming, but in training camp, you do get some curveballs like, damn. Not, I mean, with a guy, we just saw Teddy Bridgewater name the starter. I was a little surprised there. Yeah. Even though we don't think it'd be crazy to name Trey Lance the starter, how would it feel to you if he actually were named the starter? Well, now Especially that I saw the Jimmy video that. smiling, I feel like, would Jimmy cry? Like, yeah. Because he, it'd be a shock to him. He did say, "I feel pretty good about where I'm at." Right. So, yeah, well, I mean, he's got twenty five million dollars on the line. Yeah, so maybe he'd feel good as the backup. <laughs> hey, Jimmy, you're the backup, but we're gonna keep you. We're not cutting you. We're not gonna ask you to restructure. Would he smile that big? Well, would it be the biggest story in the NFL if Trey Lance was named the starter and they released Jimmy Garoppolo? It'd be the biggest story in the NFL if Trey Lance was named the starter. Period. Yeah. Period. And then and the Jimmy whatever thing happens would also with be, Jimmy. Yes. But it would already be – if Trey Lance was named the starter, it would be the biggest story in the league. Yeah, I agree. Because Trevor Lawrence is the starter, duh. Zach Wilson is the starter. Fields, we feel – if Fields was named the starter over Andy Dalton. But even then, I think the – that one would be huge. But the Niners were just – You see the, Mac, you see the Mac Jones Jimmy. tweets today? He was like 24 of 26. Completed 14 di- passes in a row. <laughs> Get ready for the Patriots to go 6-1, and one, as predicted on the podcast <laughs> yesterday. Um, before we go any further and a few more details to get to, John, let's tell the people this podcast brought to you in part by our friends at DraftKings. Sign up with the promo code HAM at DraftKings. We've got another game going right now. And uh, when you sign up with the code HAM, you uh, have a shot in the uh, win cha- instant win challenge from DraftKings with their mm-hmm. wild cards. Claim your first wild card for free up to $50 million in prizes. Yep, download the app, promo code HAM. Also, our friends at Manscaped.com, Manscaped.com. You get 20% off. Use the promo code HAM. They sent Haberman a nose trimmer. I have one, too. I need to trim those nose those nose hairs. Also, uh, you know, get the pubic region. That's the lawnmower 4.0. Nose and ears. This is what that is. This is not uh-huh. the lawnmower 4.0. Aaron Glenn, hairs? by the way, is the defensive coordinator. Remember the great Aaron Glenn? He's the Lions defensive coordinator. You got Aaron Glenn, D'Amico Ryans. Two of them should do the XFL style race for a football <laughs> in midfield. Those two guys. I think th- well, D'Amico, once upon a time, popped an Achilles, I think, uh, with the Texans. So I don't – his speed, he was never quite the same speed-wise. All right. Well – I think Aaron Glenn's the DB, right? He can yeah, run, he I would really imagine. <laughs> um, you know, I remember that Rich Eisen interview, and then I went back and watched that clip again when you posted it today. The way I interpreted that clip was when it's ready for a competition, everybody will know. And to your point, it's felt like it should be a competition, and yet – the reps have not been, for the most part, distributed in a way that would, you know, lead you to believe it's a competition. Um, but I also do you think he's doing this for competitive reasons, like talking like this now, kind of. You know, let's go back to the draft. Probably the wrong word, but you know, let's he's just being the, a little secretive. Let's go back to the draft. What was the purpose of Kyle being secretive before the draft? We all knew once, Trevor Lawrence was going one, and you're everyone, saying once he traded to three, yeah. 
fuck with people, kind of, I guess. What did he say after the fact? Well, he basically said, like, well, if I'm not going to gain anything from sharing the information, why am I going to share the information? It's yeah. not necessarily, I don't want the Jets to know what I'm going to do, but why would I tell anybody what I'm going to do if I don't have to tell anybody what I'm going to do until I'm going to do it? Makes sense. So, you know, I mean, the question is, has what he's done to this, what he's done to this point, if we just evaluate it on the surface, says Jimmy Garoppolo is the starting quarterback. Yes. So the question is, is what he's done misleading? Or I, can it change in the next week? Can Trey play so well against the Raiders that he becomes the starting quarterback? Because, John, if you're doing that, what you're also doing is you're delaying your game prep, like you said, any part of your Lions prep. Now you do have time, right? you got like a two weeks, basically. After you got a lot of time. Game. Yeah, you got a lot of time. So maybe you could do that. Maybe you could let this week help determine it if something happens to change your mind. But yeah, it's just it's hard to get a beat on him with this stuff because he is candid. Consi- you know, with Belichick, this would not be abnormal. He'd be like, "Well, it's just Bill, Bill being Bill." Yeah, Kyle is pretty that. open. Like he doesn't, he's not one to hide stuff. And this, he he already, to me, where I have just red flagged the comment is three weeks ago he said jimmy garoppolo is a starter so why if jimmy garoppolo is still the starter why wouldn't he just be saying that it's a very good question so it's basically if he had never said it like guys it doesn't behoove me i, I would understand it but he said it and then now he's kind of pivoting but it's getting closer to the game and we know how coaches get the pressure of a game like i, I do get it like i bet he'll say once jimmy garoppolo or whoever he names a starter maybe he won't like do you, do you think a starter is named week one before like Sunday? No, he may not name a starter because he never named a competition. But the only way he out. names a starter, oh well, yeah. I mean, there's a depth chart too that comes out right. If if Trey Lance is going to be the starting quarterback, then he does he name him the starting quarterback then? Well, I think I think it would just wouldn't he, he would have tell to Jimmy tell Trey Lance and then, then they have would to get make out. A deci- well, then they might have to try and ask Jimmy to take a pay cut. Yeah, like you said, it would it would be the biggest story in the NFL. Yeah. Um. Because so it's he, not as big of a story if Jimmy just starts and there's like, hey, Trey's going to play a bunch. You you don't know when he's coming in, right? That's that's what was expected. So Jimmy could start play one series and then Trey plays the rest of the game? <laughs> yeah. There, there the is no – you don't feel confident that, like, there is some rhyme or reason to, like, Trey coming in and out. Like, he might get series. Like, Taysom well, Hill got plays. I would expect Trey Lance to get series, Well, you could right? – pl- uh, week one? A, zero, like, zero game? First quarter? Yeah, maybe not 0 0, but if it's, you know, 14 to 7, you bring them in, you just let them rip for a little while. Maybe. I, I mean, I, we'll you see. Know, I don't like know. The, I'm, the, the I'm game, open to it. You can have a plan, right? And then the game changes what your plan is. Ask yeah, Mike Tyson, right? Yeah. Or week or week two, Kyle Shanahan in the preseason, right? Where Jimmy was going to come back. But uh, yeah, the difference is if the Niners get punched in the mouth that I early on in that game, maybe their plan does change. And that'll be interesting if you're down 14 to nothing. <laughs> You know, end of this going into halftime. What do you do? Do you go Tua? Do you go to Tua? Yeah, he will not care. There, there no, will he, be no, a no. there will be a Fitzpatrick Tua vibe to them. I I do feel with the quarterbacks, he does have the leeway to go in and out with both, right? Like if if Trey becomes a starter and then he's struggling, you can always go back. That is the powerful thing about why you keep Jimmy Garoppolo on the roster. He is an asset to you, and when money, this is not. They have an unlimited amount. Also, just, he's the GM. Let's... He is the play. He's in charge of player personnel. I know, but it gets complicated if Jed goes. Why are we paying twenty five million dollars to a backup? Right. No. No. You're right. I'm just. But saying, once like, he's on the roster, week one. If you just start him week one, you don't have to worry about that. When I say, no, you're right. I'm just saying when he's in charge of player personnel, he's the one that gets to say this is as the coach. He doesn't have to make some right. If he's the coach, but he doesn't have control of player personnel, he might name Jimmy the starter if the GM wants to cut Jimmy and he wants yeah. him around as his backup quarterback. As a tactic in a bad relationship with a GM, you might try and pull that off. For sure. 100%. I bet once upon a time, if we look back, again, different situation, this guy got injured. But when Belichick named Brady the full-time starter and they just rolled with it, Brady was a six-round pick, right? He had to be, who knows what the six-round pick was making in 2001. I bet Belichick, or I mean, Bledsoe was a top-five paid quarterback. Now, again, the season had started, he had planned on Bledsoe being the starting quarterback, but I bet whatever the numbers were back 20 years ago, one guy was making 400 grand and Bledsoe might've been making 12 million. Right. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it was a really big deal. Now this situation's different. Jimmy was not as entrenched as true Bledsoe and Trey Lance was a third pick, not pick 199. So again, I don't think there's a true 
parallel to probably this situation, partly just because Jimmy's career is probably one of the great outliers in NFL history, right? Just his resume, his career resume for eight years. Have we ever seen and much Especially like when it? you include the salary. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's – I, I guess you never know because there have been backups. But Matt Schaub, for example, who was a second-round pick and got traded like Jimmy and became a starter, at least he had like – five, six straight years of starting, right? Jimmy disappears, and then he comes back, and he goes to the Super Bowl, Jimmy and he disappears play. I mean, again. there's like, not a lot of tread. <laughs> there's a, there is a lot of tread left on those tires, right? He could find himself playing what? the league for a long time. Well, he, well, he could easily tra- – I mean, if Matt Schaub played in the league for five years after the Raiders, Jimmy Garoppolo could be the best backup quarterback in the league for a long time. Well, he, but he's still he good would, enough to start. People would st- I mean, if Teddy Bridgewater's winning jobs, Jimmy Garoppolo would be winning jobs places. Would, would the Broncos rather have Jimmy Garoppolo than Teddy Bridgewater? I think so. I do too. Uh, so do you? So just so we know. And the crazy part is the Niners might rather have. It's just probably easier to have Teddy at like five million as your backup. You know, easier you to know, have Teddy at five million he, than Jimmy at twenty five as your backup. Why? Well, I think Teddy would be an ideal backup for like Trey Lance next year. Right. Right. Yeah. Because yeah. you're gonna have some extra money, so you just pay. Hey, Teddy, you want four million bucks to be the backup? Be a good guy, high character guy. <laughs> yeah. It's a good just gig. Just know you're the backup. You're not coming here to <laughs> compete. Yeah. Andy Dalton no. might be on the Niners for three million dollars next year. Match up. Um, but the thing I, that... I, I wasn't joking there. Matt Schaub. <laughs> I kind of worked with him. Matt Ryan. The thing that keeps the door a little cracked is what we've seen with our eyes, which is that Trey Lance should have a chance. But yeah. um, the thing that makes me most confident, I'm not that I'm confident necessarily, but the the sign that it's Jimmy is Jim... is The best sign, I should say, that it's Jimmy is, A, what Kyle has done for the last... For all the camp. And B, what um, you know, what Jimmy looks like. Now, here's the thing: is Jimmy playing Week Three, preseason game? Oh, I haven't seen that. Because I mean, if he doesn't, he does. then that tells Ky- us something. Ky- Kyle's been adamant that his starters are going to play in this game, so he's playing. Yeah, you would think. So, who starts the preseason game? The starting quarterback, if all the starters are playing. Yeah, Jimmy Garoppolo. Do the it starters would be a- stay in the game with Trey Lance again? Probably not. Or I guess if he comes in, I mean, if Trey Lance is going to get series against the Lions, then he should play a little more with the starters. I agree. It's going to be fascinating to watch this game play out. At some point in time this year, Trey Lance will be named with the starter, I think. And in that moment in time, it will be a big story. Do you think it's a 100% lock that Matt Ryan at probably 39, 40 years old is a backup quarterback for the 49ers? (laughs) Or does Matt Ryan never become a backup? I don't know if he does that. A lot of money. Phil a lot Rivers of money and still like he I mean we're three or four years away from that but if he ever does have a backup career it does feel pretty strongly that the Niners would be involved don't you think yeah but yes yeah <laughs> but how does his career his career might end after a year in which he was ninth in the league in passing yards right and, and he just walks away yeah has a year like Rivers had and then or someone pays him to like a Bronco situation you know it's like a bridge starter I'm just, I, you know, like, would they have taken Matt Ryan over those two guys? Fangio would have, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Maybe not for 35 million, but they would have paid him 18. Right. Right. But the Falcons, like the Rivers. Yeah. At some point, the Falcons. He might just be on the Falcons until the Falcons find a quarterback. Yeah, which could be in a couple of years, though. New GM and stuff. They got to find keep, a guy though. Just keep your eye on Matty Ice. All right. His career with the Niners. Keep an eye.